Hello, good evening. We are the Pleiadian Sisters. We are happy to be with you this evening. Questions are not a necessary part of the conversation. Energetic exchange is the primary intent of our communication. Exactly. Yes, please. Go ahead. Okay. So, one of the things is kind of baffled me is that I'll listen to some of the channelers channeling people who or souls who I feel that they're for lack of a better word good souls and um, knowledgeable souls and higher consciousness souls but it seems like you can I can listen to five or six of them and they all seem to talk about something different that's going to happen in the next year. So it's kind of curious to me is how come that is. Is It seems like, I guess, what I'm guessing is that they all have a different perspective or maybe they all are on a different parallel universe or... Or what? And you can sometimes from hearing some of them, you can hear that there's going to be a, a horrible next couple of years or so. To everything is going to be wonderful. So why why is it that you get that I get different information from different ones who I think feel like they're legitimate and they know what they're talking about? Well, each creator on the earth is an infinite creator being, and each word being spoken, whether mindfully and consciously or unconsciously, is a creation in and of itself. And so understand that this applies to all human beings, not just Chandlers. Chandlers, however, seem to uh, be given more importance in other words it is perceived that their creations the creations of their words are more important than others and in truth they can have more power and more weight because of the level of their consciousness and the attention given to the words that they speak However, every channeler and every person is a creator and all words have power and for the one who speaks positive life-affirming predictions of the future, they will experience the future in this way. And those who have darker or Nefarious predictions will also then experience the creations of their own lips. And this is the unfortunate or fortunate consequence of attention being given to channelers. Channelers who speak of dark things to come will gather attention or focus from others gather to that those ideas and those consciousnesses and will thereby create that experience for many and those who gather positive life affirming predictions of the future will also gather to them those who those who give their attention to these will experience this positivity this is why this vessel is adamant about not joining doomsayers and naysayers and projections of negativity Mm -hmm. you will never hear her say the financial system is going to collapse because her words are powerful and to speak such thing contributes to financial collapse. And if she says it in a public forum because of her level of spiritual authority and the respect and trust of others which she has earned over the course of time, 
Others would also then join their attention to this unwanted outcome. And why would you ever give voice to an unwanted outcome? This vessel, speaking specifically of the reference to financial systems, this vessel has a great faith in humanity that humanity can make conscious choices about how they invest their money and with whom and understand that money is only energy what is uh, done with the money what uh, uh, purchase is made what vision is funded with money determines whether the money is quote unquote good or quote unquote bad and so this vessel certainly everything she is doing is to create a vast consciousness of positivity love grace peace joy and so this consciousness is fueled by the gathering of souls to the work she is doing and to others who are of high consciousness work and each one of those souls will make different choices with their money than those who are not conscious those who are negatively oriented and so if the consciousness is growing towards awakening enlightenment then the natural common sense consequence of that is that more and more persons will be making conscious awakened and enlightened uh, investments and purchases with their finances and this stands to reason to shift the economy and the financial system towards positive high consciousness uh, pursuits. Yes, I understand that, but um, I, I guess I wasn't very clear on my question. I'm not talking about what the channelers think or say. I'm talking about what the person who they're channeling, like uh, Bashar and Cryon and Odemus and all the 50 others that come through. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about what they say. Is, it, is that also true for them as well? Well, we don't listen to all of those beings. And, well, we will say the vessel does not. And the reason that she does not is so that she can remain a pure channel. Yes? In other words, not influenced by others' messages, yes. And so we can't speak to what those others are talking about. We are not aware of what they are talking about. We speak through the vessel in perfect union and emerging with her. And so to think of... A channeler as separate from their channel being would be mm, a mistaken idea. So, for example, if Daryl Anka is channeling Bashar, Bashar is an, you perceive Bashar to be a separate entity with an autonomous free will. Uh, of thought and communication separate from Daryl's. Oh. And they understand that they are the two merging together as one. And so it is a perfect co-creation. Yes. Okay. So the entity is merging with the vessel and they are co-creating together and both influencing one another. And there is no separateness between them in the process of the co-creation. Okay, thank you very much for that. that. I understand that now. That's always been baffling me, so I appreciate that. Thank you, I understand that now. Mm -hmm. But again, what we would like to emphasize about the conversation is that channelers are given um, a platform because of the phenomenon in which they are participating. 
And because of that, more attention and focus or credence can be given to their messages. Yes. And so it's very important for all channelers to understand that they are gathering momentum and energy towards their channeled messages, whatever those might be. So this vessel would prefer to mm -hmm, channel the consciousnesses of all energies gathering on our behalf towards a positive outcome. Good. All things are possible. There is nothing that is impossible. All things are possible on the level of mind, of imagination and co-creation. All things are possible. So why would you want to create a, an economic collapse? You would want to create that because you believe that that is the only means for change. So our question to you is why would you believe that? Why do you believe that change has to be hard won or difficult or painful? Why not believe that change is easy? That change is easy. That people can change their minds and change their hearts and can align themselves with... <coughs> with their values in their spending and investing and so on. I, I guess because if you looked at the past, then it would look like that was something that... And why would you look at the past? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so if you hold um, judgments about the past against yourself or others or any people group, then you were doomed to repeat the past. Yes, okay. Mm -hmm. So, is it, is it possible, though, that if somebody is listening to Chandler A, and Chandler A says this, that, and the other about the next two years, and then Chandler B says something kind of different the next two years, so the people that listen to Chandler B will go to a different parallel universe than the people that listen to Chandler A? Will they head to a different parallel universe? Yes, a simpler way to say this is people will reap... What they sow. Yes, they will reap the focus, their focus. What they have focused on, they will experience. And so you see... When this vessel shares, when we share through her things such as enlightenment is going to become commonplace. Every time she shares that, it becomes a seed mm -hmm. in the mind of everyone who listens. Mm. And when this seed is sown in the minds of tens or hundreds of thousands of persons, those individuals then develop a consciousness uh, towards that idea. Oh, I see enlightenment is commonplace. We should expect persons all around us, myself included, to become enlightened. And so in, do, in doing this, she is literally changing the course of the future. And so channelers must understand they are changing the course of the future with what they say. And so they must be mindful then to create what they want, what is in high alignment. Rather than responding and answering and channeling uh, as a reaction to what's going on in the news and so on. Thank you. That was great. So, so I do that same thing. With my patients, I plant seeds. Sometimes I'll say something like, people have healed themselves of everything under the sun. And I always end up end up with positive, being positive, saying positive things that happen during a treatment. So I understand that. I understand planting seeds. So that all makes sense to me. So I appreciate that. And now I understand better. Mm -hmm. And we will say that common sense is very important to all of these processes 
And so common sense would dictate that if you sow positive thoughts, you will reap positive, positive things. If you sow negative thoughts of fear and so on about the future, then those shall be reaped. So why spread negativity? We're not saying to be falsely positive as far as denying reality, the reality of what is, but who will bridge the gap between what is and what is wanted? So something of a completely different subject is that I am open and welcoming any help from the Pleiadians or anybody else that can help me be a better healer. Yes, you simply need call on our assistance, that is all. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. What we will say about that is to love more and judge less. And when you are in the room with the patient, you ask us to share with you the information that is unknown. Yes. Okay. For anyone coming for healing, lacks healing because of what is unknown. Oh. True. If the, the element or practice or modality that would heal the dis-ease were known, they would not be in your office. Yes. They would already be well. So anyone coming to you is looking for the unknown that will heal. So if you ask to know what is unknown in order that the healing may come. Okay, thank you. So um, just as a note, which you may already know this, I've had some great experiences with one of my patients whose master has been coming through me when he's in the room Mm -hmm. and it's been very amazing and wonderful and I'm very grateful for that and and would be uh, encouraging to that happening more often. Certainly. Well, the benefit of this experience is that you now have a lived experience and an understanding that you can channel another living soul on the planet. You can channel another living, enlightened soul on the planet. At will, yes? All that is needed is the desire and for you to make the connection. Anyone can do this. Yes. 